Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Never After High doll and making her to look like Stevie Nicks. I'll be showing you how I did the hair here, and then the face up, and then putting together the, all the bits of the costume at the end. So I'm using a, a Never After High doll. I believe this is Blondie Locks, but I'm not quite sure. Blondie Locks and some of the others have the same face up, just slightly different skin tones, so I prepped a, new, a number of them ahead of time, and then I lost track of which is which, so I apologize for not being able to tell you which one this is, but I think it is Blondie Locks. So I used a wheat colored alpaca hair, or yarn for the hair, and then I added in some highlights of ivory, and then holding it tight at the root, I just brushed it out, and then I gave her sort of a layered hairstyle uh, haircut with some razoring and a little bit of thinning with some thinning shears. And Stevie Nicks just has some wild, in some of her older styles, she had just some, some wild, curly, feathered hair. So I wanted it to be able to be fluffed out in some poses to make it look kind of like she's on stage and the, with the wind whipping her hair. And so just leaving it kind of natural worked out. So in the end of this video, I'll be putting together all the little bits of the costume and showing you a little bit more on what I used to make that. So Stevie Nicks is one of my, probably my all-time favorite musicians. I just love her voice. It's so unique and she's also just so beautiful with her big, huge doe eyes. So I wanted to, and, and her little bee stung lips too, so I just kind of wanted to pull out these characteristics and just kind of get a little bit of what her look is in the face up. So I'm using a couple of reference photos and trying to match the eye shape and lip shape and nostril shape and then some shading to create the, a similar jawline. All the supplies that I'm using here will be in the description box below along with affiliate links. So here I'm using some white pan pastel to pull out the highlights. And then I'm starting to use this really light um, eyebrow, eyeshadow brush to add on the blush. It's also, I previously was always using a Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. Well, this is also one that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and it's just kind of my new go-to. So I'm doing, smoking out the bottom lash line a little bit using a very tiny round brush and doing the same with the upper lid. And I'm using some colorless blender to blend it out a little bit. Now I'm giving her sort of a mustard color eye, eyeshadow and then I add a little bit of shimmer on it. And I added some white to the cupid's bow and the inner eye um, inner corners of the eye. At this point I would have given a couple of coats of Mr. Super Clear to save my work so that when I do the eyebrows I can erase and not mess up the work below it. So I've been wanting to make this doll for quite some time. I didn't know which style of Stevie Nicks that I wanted to do. She's had a lot of different um, iconic looks and I really liked the Belladonna uh, record cover. So that's kind of what I wanted to reflect with this doll. That's one of my favorites of hers also. So 
So I'm using sort of light brown colors to go around the outer iris and then blending those out with the with even lighter browns and terracotta and some white and just adding a bunch of little lines and detail in there to give some dimension and realism to the iris. So I'm taking a, I think that's either a dark brown or black, I think it's black, and just kind of outlining it even more. And then finally with the pupil. I'm using a Derwent black watercolor pencil. And then there I'm using the Faber-Castell Aqua Grip, which I tend to use for eyelashes because it keeps a really soft point. It's a harder lead than the Derwent. And I'm running out of those, so I really need to get somewhere where I can buy some. So just doing some final shading. And just darkening up the layers and some final highlights. So there I'm adding some little dots for highlight in the eyes and then I will add some gloss later. I'll tend to um, add the gloss when I finish the hair just so it doesn't um, stick to the gloss. I can let it dry for quite some time. So I made the costume using several layers of this sort of organza fabric underneath and even tied one in a little knot like her, her look on the belladonna. Um, and then gave her some boot covers and a little vest with some flyaway arms to give her that sort of cape look like she likes to wear or a uh, long scarf and then I gave her the highlight or the gloss on the eyes and lips and nails so I hope you guys liked this video if you did I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching bye